the Indianapolis Colts and home for yet another NFL scouting combine right here on NFL Network, the 2023 version. Bringing in the first ever first overall pick for the Chicago Bears in the common draft era. And there's the general manager who's got it in his pocket, Ryan Pulse. Sean Payton's back at a combine. Now he's the coach of the Denver Broncos, Ron Rivera, right in the middle of that first round with the commanders. He's coming to work to watch defensive players, front seven players today. Mike Vrabel knows all about those positions for sure. Dan Campbell with the old English D. What a season for the Lions. It is time for another scouting combine on NFL Network. This is where the greatest stories begin, where preparation triumphs and hope lives, and where future stars seize the moment. He knows that look good. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's a Texas kid arriving with little fanfare and changing the way the sport is played. Mahomes, magic! Those who arrived here just one year ago. Brock Purdy of Iowa State. Making their mark as rookie sensations. Can we call him Playground Purdy? They've all come here to write the first chapter of their legend. Defense opens the show in star-studded fashion. Oh, they flush him and sack him. With big-name havoc wreakers waiting in the wings. and sack. Who will make an immediate impact and take their place among the game's most feared legends. The moment is here. The time is now. The next great story is about to begin. Welcome to the 2023 NFL Scouting Combine. And we welcome you inside Lucas Oil Stadium. The 2023 NFL Scouting Combine presented by No Bull is on the air. Here fans back in the building for yet another season of watching on-field drills. Yes, yeah, smile. You're going to watch guys run straight lines and jump in the air. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we're here once again right on the 50-yard line in the lower suite area if you're scoring uh, at home for the Lucas Oil Stadium fan base. I am Rich Eisen, pleased to be hosting an 18th NFL scouting combine coverage for NFL Network. Thrilled to be once again next to you, Daniel Jeremiah. Good to see you. Great to see you. Get comfortable. Uh, we have no choice. Uh, we're going to be here a while. We're going to be here for four days. The defensive linemen and linebackers about to work out on the field. It's a deep group before we get to that. Just in general, let everybody at home who might be tuning into a scouting combine coverage for the first time what uh, what this is all about. Go for it. It's a very important week in the evaluating tool. You have the regular season. You have all-star games. And now we arrive at the combine where you're going to get medical testing, which has already taken place. You're going to have team interviews to get a chance for these players to visit with the teams and get to know one another. And finally, get to see them on the field as we're going to see right now the best players in the country by position one after another it's a great way to see these guys move and, and see the best that we have to offer in this upcoming draft you saw dan marino who's obviously here with the dolphins there's dan quinn who's back again as the defensive coordinator for the dallas cowboys so everybody's taking their seats to watch uh some of the best edge rushers some of the best defensive linemen that we've seen in quite some time come to a combine work out on the field one of them is a top your draft board in jalen carter we all know he left the combine yesterday to face the charges the two misdemeanor charges that um that that he was served up by athens georgia authorities for uh as we all know a reckless driving and racing charges and he is now back as you could see he's on the field he's back to complete interviews measurements other activities but he will not be working out tonight how, how do you evaluate what's going on with him it's gonna Daniel? need time um you mentioned it rich on the field i think he's the best player in this draft he is uh, he's an incredible talent teams were had no idea that this information existed they were totally caught off guard they're trying to process everything they have some time between now and the draft but if you're going to draft jalen carter you're going to be spending a lot of time with him between now and then to get to know him and again he's uh he, he's been talking to teams uh, all week long last night again he was in Athens, Georgia, the edge rusher group uh, rated for me. What do you got for me? It's outstanding. Uh, when you look at the top 50 players in the draft, to me, 10 of them are at this position. It's a premium position. And right there at the top, Will Anderson is the best in show. We get to see him work out today with the linebackers. We see Tyree Wilson, Keon White, Lucas Van Ness, and Miles Murphy. Just a few of many names we're going to hear uh, their name called in the top 30 to 40 picks, Rich. It's 
a loaded group. And again, as you mentioned, he's uh, Will Anderson is uh, working with the linebackers. That's group three for all those. Groups one and two are just the, the vast amount of defensive linemen that are going to be working out first. Part of our broadcast team, once again, is the great Stacey Dales. Take it away, Stacey. Thank you, Rich and DJ. I had a chance to uh, speak with Will Anderson, the Alabama edge rusher, yesterday, and he was beyond thrilled to have an opportunity to showcase his abilities here today. And I just will tell you guys, he has an infectious personality. And talking to several people here this week, scouting this young man, uh, he is a safe, therefore a very sure pick in this draft. And uh, as one GM told me, uh, first class individual when it comes to him, the production is there, the humility is there. And one of the things that Anderson prides himself so much on is his consistency. If you think about the 206 QB pressures over three years at Alabama. I mean, that's just a staggering number. And then the humility. He was actually asked this week, where do you want to be picked? Do you want to go one? Do you want to go two, three, maybe four? He doesn't care. And he said he'll be adaptable to any defense that he's put in in the National Football League. And by the way, Rich and DJ, his nickname is the Terminator, but he told us this week he will have to prove that nickname at the next level. Okay. And I think it mandates me to now say, throwing a break we'll be back <laughs> with 40 yard dashes we're off and running literally and figuratively at the combine the 2023 nfl scouting combine is presented by noble the official training partner of the nfl combine